Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to unbox and review the Inwa MZ360 uh, portable speaker. And in particular, we're going to use this on our bike. And of course, it depends on where you live if you want to call it an Inwa MZ-360. Uh, but regardless, uh, this looks like the right product for us. What we're trying to do is extend the life of our phone. Uh, currently, uh, well, for me, I don't like to use earbuds when I'm biking because you, you can't hear what's going on around you and I ride on the road, so I don't like dying, so gotta do something else. So what I have is a little pouch to put my phone, I put it on uh, maximum volume and I play and I get, uh, well, I get a bunch of hours out of it, but I'm pretty much dead every time by the time I come back. Uh, I'm out for, I don't know, five, six hours sometimes, and it's that's, that's pretty much life when you're playing at full blast. Anyway, uh, this unit uh, looks like it is the solution. It has a big battery uh, with um, 10 hours of playback, uh, at 60%. Now, with that's a curiosity, by the way, when you power this up, it defaults to 80%, but we'll leave that alone. Volume, I'm speaking of. However, it has a much larger uh, speaker than what I have on my phone. This is a 5-watt speaker. Most portable speakers are 3 watts, and I'm not sure what's in my phone. I have a Samsung S22, but it's nowhere near that strength. So this should be much louder, much clearer, uh, and uh, it's also fully waterproof, it's IP7, which means not only can it get wet, it can actually get submerged, which means you don't have to use it on your bike. You can use it on a paddleboard, you can use it at the beach, you can use it wherever, and if it actually goes in the water, no problem, just shake it off, pull it out, you'll be just fine. It can stay in, uh, under the water, I think for, uh, I think it's three minutes or something. Now, why did we choose the Inwa uh, MZ360? Uh, well, uh, mostly because it was the right price uh, for the product with the right strength. So this cost us about, uh, it was, I think it lists at $35 Canadian. Uh, there was a you know coupon, as there often is, so paid, uh, I think it's $30 Canadian for it. Uh, so let's call that you know, 24, 25 US, something like that. And that's a pretty good price for a product from a brand that we had heard of, that we know a little bit about. Uh, that's another curiosity. Inwa doesn't seem to have a dedicated website, which is a concern, except they've been around a long time, so I'm not too worried about it. And because it was bought through Amazon, um, you know, we don't really care. We'll just return it if there's a problem. Uh, that gets to a good point. This is completely unsponsored. Inwa didn't give us anything. Amazon didn't give us anything. So if you like this video, big thumbs up would be super appreciated. Oh yeah, one of the things we really did like about this as far as specifications go before we even tested it was uh, that it's a Bluetooth 5.3. Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5.3 uses less power to transmit. So you get longer battery life on your uh, phone, which is what I'm worried about mostly. If the speaker goes out, it's not the end of the earth, but I'm hoping that the phone, when it's just transmitting Bluetooth, won't be using near as much electricity as it is when it's, uh, when it's uh, playing. And so this should dramatically extend the life of my rides. Another nice uh, little feature that we should mention is it has a microphone in it. All right, let's go unbox this thing and set it up. Okay, quick look at the box. 5 watt speaker, waterproof IPX7 as we discussed. You can put it on your bike, but you don't have to, you can put it anywhere. Okay, so the first thing to note is that you look at this and say, well, it's only good for your bike, it's got this mount. Now, you can pop it off. There it is, it just pops off, so you don't have to I'll put it there, you can put it anywhere. And this is a gummy uh, bottom, so if it's on a paddleboard or something, it's going to be fine. Carabiner charge cable, USB type C, which is nice, and an auxiliary cable, a little mini DIN, if you want to uh, play something through it uh, directly, which nobody's going to do. So this is the uh, device I'm trying to replace, which is the holder for my uh, cell phone. Long press the power button to power it up. Power on. Power on. Bluetooth mode. It's Bluetooth mode. Go to my Bluetooth, and uh, you can't see that, but it shows up as the MZ360 uh, pairing. Done. Just that easy. So that's it playing now, and uh, yes, I'm talking over it, because if I don't, YouTube will block this video. Okay, so let's give you our review of the uh, Inwa MZ360. The uh, long and the short is we just got back from a nearly 50 kilometer bike ride, you know, a few hours. I went through a whole pile of uh, industrial zones, construction sites, you know, like, uh, you know, mountain biking with this thing. And yeah, um, it was fine. So we didn't uh, bang around. It, uh, the sound quality stayed up. Uh, and uh, I also sent and received some phone calls and uh, they were great. 
So let's go over a couple of things, what we don't like about this. Well, uh, actually, it's a pretty short list. Nothing. Uh, we liked everything about it. It's the right size. Uh, it's the right volume. It's quite loud. Uh, and uh, buttons are uh, common sense. You don't need much instruction on them. Um, but what doesn't it have? Well, it does have a microphone. And uh, that microphone, however, does not have sound cancelling, noise cancellation. It also uh, isn't a smart speaker, so you can't give it commands uh, directly. So, uh, given that the uh, device is uh, capable mechanically of these things, it's, that's really just a, a little bit of uh, compute power that it doesn't have. But uh, for, what, $23 US? We just don't give a damn. This thing is great. So, would we recommend the Inwa MZ360? Yep. Yep, we're very happy with it. And uh, we'll be keeping it. So, hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Uh, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.